What up, techies and gamers? It's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming, the channel where you can get your daily dose of tech entertainment, right? A little technology with a little bit of laughs, some entertainment. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that a generous company, uh, the company Inky, they have provided me with this awesome new DSLR slash camera gimbal. And the device I'm referring to is the <laughs> it's the Inky Warthog gimbal for DSLR cameras. Techies and gamers, we have something quite awesome, quite new. This is actually a new release on the gimbal market. Take a good look at this casing, right? They were kind enough to send me this review sample and we're gonna go through this as much as we can anyway without taking up too much of your time, right? So let's just get into it. Let's see what comes in the box, break it out, talk about it, and look at the hardware and how well it works with this DSLR camera I'm using right here, Techies and Gamers. And we're gonna do it right now in a matter of seconds. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that great stuff, right? Helps this channel, helps you out because it allows me to bring more stuff to you, right? So let's dig into this right now in three seconds, in typical fashion. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh. Take it to gamers. So here we are with all of the parts of this Inky gimbal setup right now. There are quite a few parts um, for those who are new to the gimbal world. Let's just go ahead and go through the hardware build. If you notice in the unboxing, I took it all out of the plastic for your viewing pleasure because most of the stuff is pretty much wrapped in plastic. Just off of the unboxing and looking at the hardware off the rip is that these parts are very well built. This is pretty heavy hard structure right this is nice cold metallic for the most part i don't know how much this weighs but it is pretty heavy um you also have your uh battery which is built into the actual gimbal arm itself right it's a 2500 milliamp battery that will get you a nice 10 hours on standby gripping it like this with my hand feels quite nice has this nice rubbery outer textured grip. And on the front of this gimbal is where you actually charge your battery. There's a little port with a cap you can peel open on it and you will plug in your power pack into that and charge it, which took me about three hours to charge, more or less. It came completely empty. So um, that took me quite some time to charge before I was actually able to use it and test it out. Um, and you will know that it is charging based off of the little LEDs you see here on the side, if I were to actually press this button that you see here on the back, right? Hopefully I'm showing a B-roll of it. Maybe I took it, maybe I didn't. If I press that button on the back, you will see it will give you your battery level indicator. The LEDs will light up. What's cool about this gimbal is that it includes this focus follow assist module included with the gimbal tackies and gamers i've looked up previous gimbals and did some research and i found that a lot of these uh, higher end gimbals they didn't include this the focus follow assist module you see right here i'm spinning on my finger quite nifty tackies and gamers if you are on cinematic things and you're doing transitions from focusing on one object or person 
to something else, then this will be invaluable and you don't have to pay for it on the side, right? It comes with it. Let's build it up. Stop talking. Shut up. Well, I take as a gamer. So I'm going to make this a little bit of a close and personal build for you guys, right? I want you to see how and what it takes to build one of these things, right? So uh, first off, let's just start off with what we'll be gripping it with, which is this arm right here, right? This arm attaches to your gimbal via this top component, which is where the battery pack makes connectivity to the gimbal right, which is our awesome gimbal right here. And it essentially just slides on like so. Tech is gamers. Slides on and it actually locks on with this little safety lock, right? So it's not gonna come out because it's locked in, but there's also this little handle here you can use to tighten it even further so that it's nice and sturdy. Make that nice and tight. You don't have to put too much extreme pressure on that. That should be tight enough. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and slide on our bottom piece, which is the tripod component. And we will just screw it on like so, because what else are you gonna do in life, right? Techies and gamers, so this is looking sweet. So I have this gimbal nice and built already, pretty much for the most part. For the power button itself, by pressing it, uh, and holding it, you power on your device, you will see the Inky logo come up and your gimbal will come to life, techies and gamers. So really quickly, let's just go through what this actual gimbal comprises of, right? The actual face here. First of all, you have your nice OLED LCD screen to show you your modes and features. Now going through all of the modes and features, I will find that it is not packed with that much detail, right? It gives you the basic necessities of your modes what feature you're in, that sort of thing, but you won't find too much information on that screen. Now, what you wanna do is, depending on the language you speak, you might wanna have to actually switch it to English because default out of box, at least for me with this sample, um, it actually was in Chinese, I could not read it, so you have to switch to the English language in the menus, right? It's English and Chinese. Also, you have your record button here on the front, which you can actually control your DSLR camera with the record button. Turn it on recording, turn off recording. There are a few modes you can actually go through. This gimbal will not toggle automatically through all the modes just by pressing the mode button there. So as you can see, it only toggles through the pan mode and the general lock mode back and forth, right? So to get to the other modes, you actually have to hold down the mode button for a couple seconds and it goes into this other feature here. And by twisting the wheel, right? Turning your little wheel here on the side, you can actually toggle through your different modes that way. So the pan follow mode will actually pan across smooth gradual transition, panning from left to right, and your camera will actually move with the gimbal in the direction you are panning in. And for the general lock mode, which comes up as GL on this device, you, you will actually focus your camera on a specific point, right? So when you're moving your gimbal from left to right, spinning around, your camera will not spin. It would actually lock on to a specific area of focus. You have your A and B buttons here on the front, which allow you to lock specific positions of your gimbal. So you can lock in A, and then when you have a B set to somewhere else, you press B, it automatically goes to these positions that you set. All right, Techies and Gamers, here I am outside checking out this cool inky gimbal, the Warthog gimbal, and I have taken a walk into the jungle. I'm out here testing out this gimbal and checking out the stabilization as I'm walking and for all intents and purposes, this stabilization is actually quite great. Uh, I'm walking on snow, so um, yeah. making the switch to my iPhone camera so that you can see the way I mount my actual DSLR camera. On to this device. Take the gamers, let's take a look real quick. Hi, right, take the gamers. So let's go ahead and put our nice little uh, DSLR camera onto this gimbal and power it on just to see how this bad boy works in real life. First things first, you're gonna want to mount your camera onto your balance plate here, right? This is where uh, all the magic happens and it will be mounted in the, right? Horizontal position, of course, there's no other way to mount that. 
and you will have to actually have this little screw in the front facing forward in front of the camera because that is where your actual follow focus module gets mounted onto. Now, just take note that when you're actually getting ready to mount this and balance it on your gimbal, you want to have all the components that you're going to actually use. For example, I actually have a little wireless mic kit set up here because that's going to play into the part of the weight and the balancing of it. So make sure you have everything you want, whether it's your microphone, any additional accessories that you're adding to your camera, because you don't want to have to do it after the fact, mount your accessories and then it goes off balance. You'll also be connecting uh, USB cables, right? The cabling because you're going to want to control your camera through the gimbals. So essentially you'll want to actually have it uh, mounted onto this center bracket here. When you slide it on, there's a locking mechanism here on the side. You might want to actually lock it into place just to see what you're getting at, right? Get a little gauge of where your balance is. So um, letting it go, you see it's falling all the way forward. It's definitely not balanced. So we can probably slide it back just a little bit. All right, so it looks like I got a nice little balance on the horizontal level. See, so it actually is balancing in an upward position as well, techies and gamers. But now with this mounted, let's go ahead and power it on and see how this reacts, right? I'm going to hit the power button and let's see, now that I have it mostly balanced, it's gonna actually make it easy for it to balance on its own, techies and gamers. All right, so when you're trying to actually get this guy hooked up to Wi-Fi, you have to uh, download the Inky Warthog app first. Right, once you download that, you actually have to try to find this device. It's always broadcasting. So uh, if you go into your Wi-Fi settings, you will see SSID of the actual device, which would be Warhog followed by serial number. And you want to click into that to connect to it. Then once you do that first, you have to go back to your app. And then once back in your app, you'll select uh, the Wi-Fi tab up on the top. And in Wi-Fi, you'll see a uh, scan, you'll scan for devices. Once you scan, you'll see Warthog and you click connect to that Warthog and it will display the channel amongst some other details. And once you connect to that, you will see that you will find the interface of the camera itself. So you actually stream live video from your camera to the Warthog app and you can control your mode, control the direction of the camera, pretty much use your camera and your gimbal like a turret, Tech Easy Gamers. The only way you can actually update the firmware on this is if you connect to the device first over Wi-Fi. Then once you connect to it over Wi-Fi, you'll be able to find the firmware updates, which is the latest ones, and install them basically, and your camera will start to upgrade to the latest firmware that's available here, and it will reboot right itself. It'll show the little upgrading symbol, and you are on the latest firmware, Tech Easy Gamers, because you want to get the latest and greatest tech that they actually push out and built into this gimbal. Hi, Tech Easy Gamers. Thanks for watching this far. So, what are my final thoughts? It is quite the contender, actually. This brings kind of um, a one-stop shop for quite a few features, including new features like the wireless transmission, which is actually um, not a thing that's included with a lot of gimbals. You'd actually have to purchase and attach a separate wireless video transmitter to your gimbal in order to get that wireless video feed, that wireless transmission. This gimbal actually incorporates that in the gimbal itself. So um, you can just download the app via the app store and that wireless transmission is available to you right out the box. The overall build of it is very solid, very durable. I really appreciate that nice matte black finish. And uh, this thing is kind of a little bit of a tank. I dropped it and that did nothing to it. So do not be uh, afraid to kind of manhandle this a little bit because it can take it. On the discussion of the app, this also makes it possible to do firmware updates on your gimbal. So there will be some maintenance and firmware updates you can actually apply to your gimbal to make it function better and perhaps even to add new features, right? <laughs> Inky, right? Now there may just be a couple of drawbacks that I could probably mention here, but nothing that is really a real big deal breaker. Not in my book anyway, probably just nitpicking here, but uh, the screen itself, it's nice, it's OLED, but some of the features and um, icons that you see on there are not necessarily self-explanatory. Not until you actually click into it and tinker around with the settings and try to figure out what the settings do. So um, it took a little bit of a learning curve for me there. Also, it did not come in the English language by default, so I had to actually go into the language settings and switch it to English. So um, just be mindful of that. Another thing was also connecting to the device via Wi-Fi. So what you have to do is connect to it and it's going to ask for a password. And I did not find the password in the manual or even online itself on the online manual. 
maybe I overlooked it or something. I felt like I read it all. If you were wondering what the password is, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tech is a gamer, so just be mindful if you want to connect to it. That's the password you're gonna have to use. All right, Tech is a gamer. With that said, I would like to say thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I know this may have been an extensive video, depends on how I edited it. Uh, but I appreciate you coming through. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. I always ask because that helps me out. And by you helping me out, I help you out by presenting all these fancy, cool, nifty gadgets for all you Tech is a gamers out there. And I'll see you in my next review my next workout, and the next time I walk across the street. What? Why? <laughs>